This is the first experiment of pH 4454 in which you're going to learn how to measure the electrical impedance of a simple device, in this case an inductor. You're going to use the E5061B network analyzer which you used a couple of quarters ago for gain phase analysis and now you're going to learn how to use it for impedance analysis. This is the inductor that we'll be analyzing. So we'll start by inserting it in the test fixture in the analyzer. Next we'll recall state number 5, which is set up for impedance measurement. And now we'll go ahead and do a sweep from 1 kilohertz to 1 megahertz. and we'll do an auto scale. So the yellow curve displays the magnitude of the electrical impedance of the inductor as a function of frequency and the blue curve represents the phase in degrees between the voltage and current applied to the inductor. We can switch from a linear sweep to a log sweep and Let's do that again. And now we can change the vertical scale from linear to log also. So how does this plot line up with what you would expect from theory for an ideal inductor? Now we'll do a linear sweep from 1 megahertz to 5 megahertz. The next step is to do a circuit model fit to the measured response. Uh, and as per the write-up, it says to find the resonant peak and put it about one-third to one-quarter of the display width from the right-hand side of the screen. So I went back to my original plot, a linear plot, and from one kilohertz to one megahertz, and you can see that it's already about a quarter of the way in from the right, so I'm just going to stick with that. So I'm going to choose analysis and equivalent circuit and I'm going to select the right circuit it's circuit B in this case and I'll go ahead and hit calculate and here it displays my values so I can actually display the circuit right here and I can turn on a simulate where it's showing a very actually a, a slightly dimmer plot on top of the our data which has a very close fit. So the values for the, resist the resistor is 505.5 ohms, the capacitor is 10.12 picofarads, and the inductor is 3.99 millihenries. Here you see the component values for the electrical circuit, and here you can just see a faint line superimposed over our data, which is the curve fit for the electrical circuit.